Hello and welcome to this video. Today I am going to show you how to make some galaxy spheres. I showed these before when I reviewed the Sophie and Toffee Galaxy Pixie Box and I didn't show you in that video how I achieved the cool light effects so I thought I would make an extra video to just show you how to make them yourself and as always I'm starting out with making a clear shell for both of my spheres. These clear shells don't have to be a couple of layers thick, it's just enough if you have one layer, it's just to stabilize the mold and to make sure that there are no air bubbles on the outside of it. And as you can see my mold cured a bit over so I just pressed it to a more of a spherical shape and after that to make them appear on the outside I'm just putting some of these nail accessory moons inside with some UV resin. For the second sphere I'm using these light blue stars that I just mix into some UV resin and then place inside the sphere and I'm using my silicon tool to just spread them around evenly. I also put a layer of glitter for both of these spheres and I'm using the glitter sparsely as to make it look like stars and not to like overcrowd it. And to add that glitter I'm just doing a clear shell on the inside and I'm using this color shifting white glitter for these blue stars and for the other one with the moons I'm just going to use some blue glitters. I also found that since the nail decal moons are not flat that I really want to make a second clear layer to encase them or else part of their tips or edges will vanish inside the colored UV version and they won't show up as clear on the outside. Now making the galaxy effect is actually pretty simple and I found that using around 130 to 140 grams of resin is the best amount and in my case I'm using Sophie and Toffee's one to run resin. The reason for that is it just cures really quickly and doesn't move too much and as you can see I'm just basically layering the colors inside randomly. I'm not mixing or anything, I'm just pouring them in the center and letting them do their own swirls. And for the first one I just used some purple, blue and magenta and for the second one I'm using the same purple and blue but instead of magenta I'm going to try out red. Now I'm molding these spheres is not the easiest so I make sure to go around all of the edges to let some air in and then I carefully just pull the mold away from this. The foot that I get from the clear shell I will later on just clip with some flush cutters. They will get rid of this really easily. I think they look beautiful without light too, but let's add some light from a light base. And you can really see the galaxy effect now that is achieved by just layering the colors. And the colors when layering just move themselves on the outside and make these really really pretty swirls. And if you go to the one where I used magenta and not red, you can see the colors were fairly similar. So you have a more subtle effect. But if you want to really have those worlds, you can have one color 
be more intense than the others. And these worlds totally also remind me of the Northern Lights. Anyways, that's everything for this video. Hope you're having a great day. Bye!